Mission accomplished. A hamper safely delivered to its rightful recipient, Sally and her newborn. But the act just can't be hidden, not from a nosy yearling like Spikey. And I have to say Sally is smart. By allowing Spikey to have the scraps he should stay quiet, and not drawing any more attention to what she is getting. Consider it a bribe. But there are beans over there, everything has been taken care of. She needn't worry in the first place. Georgie, one of the very firstborns this season has got so big and confident. Gabby seems happy to let him rove about by himself. On his own, he's going to get all the sterilized girls' attention. And in this case, from one of Haggy's older daughters. Georgie is getting too comfy. Glad that his mum Gabby was just there in the nick of time. No harm done though. Honestly, even if that daughter of Haggy had been successful, Georgie would not have come to any harm anyway. Looking at Georgie, no baby crazy aunts and older cousins can hold him for long, don't you agree? And when it comes to weaning season, Gabby will be grateful for those aunts taking Georgie away. Just a few more months away, enjoy the 24-7 attention as much as you can now, Georgie. Look, the yearlings are out in force. but a baby always trumps any yearlings. And so it's Haggy's youngest and only fertile daughter, Natalie's turn.
Gabby isn't off guard yet, she knows Natalie could snatch at times too. Look, that older daughter of Haggy is back again. But with Gabby right by Georgie's side, there is no chance she can even get near to him at all. Oh well, as long as she doesn't do it again, I suppose Gabby doesn't mind her just loving Georgie there. I suppose you could see why Georgie is attractive. He's really one good looking boy. And he clearly has learned his lesson not long ago. Ready's boys. They are out too. Oh well, Dinky only loves his bigger brother that much. His pouches are filled to the brim while his brother has nothing, but he would still snatch the last one. Poor Dipsy, he really hasn't been lucky, has he? Here comes the matriarch with her princess.
and I thought Bossy doesn't care about beans anymore. Glad to see that she still has an appetite for some healthy natural food. It turns out they all do, as long as there is no prospect of more refined goodies in sight. and Bolly is taking plant matter. but Becky is destroying, rather than taking it. Yup, babies don't generally have respect for food. They see them as things yet to be explored with their tongue only. Meanwhile, those yearlings have scavenged everything they could. Now there's nothing left. But these lot is extremely busy. If they aren't finding goodies, they are having fun.
while the adults have their flexing their muscles to show who's the boss here. And it seems Spikey is Tinky's best friend now. Last week it was Stanley. Kids are fickle, aren't they? Here comes Spunky with her baby girl. While over there is her mum Sally with her baby. All this time it seems Sally has been lying low while her pouches were filling to the brim. She is so low ranking nowadays, even a baby can give her some fright, and that's Georgie only. Now that she has gulped down everything, she should feel more at ease to come out a bit. What is Georgie up to now?
just figuring things out, I would say. And mom is only less than a foot away. It seems Sally will spend a bit longer here with her baby. So far, it seems Spunky Spunky Jeans have skipped her firstborn, Spizzy. but she is still a busy bee in her own way. Now her aunt and cousin are here too. A mini family reunion we have here.
I mean we could clearly see why they all long for a baby. It fulfills their life and purpose. That dog has broken through their ring of defense. But it's one of the resident friendly dogs. It means no harm anyway. But it doesn't hurt to be cautious. For Spunky. It's her first time as mum, after all. It seems Spotty has got herself a bad reputation since her baby was stillborn. She has become an unsolicited babysitter nowadays. But I wouldn't worry about Tinky, he's old enough. Gosh, Sally is still down there. You can tell Bessie knows her status, and she does throw her weight around. And Bubby is just a regular princess, since Becky has been born. And yes, there's Reddy with her baby. She loves and cares about all her kids wholeheartedly.
and she would rather finish her job in hand for her kids, when others just won't. Dean Lee seems to be less wobbly. Her motor control is beginning to get in shape now. It's Bessie again. Why is she so overbearing? And all these just to show who the boss is here. And I thought she wanted Reddy's spot. But that's the hierarchy system they have. Everyone has to learn to deal with it. The oldest daughter of Bossy seems just so much more respectful to others, and friendly.
Nope, Reddy isn't ready for her daughter, Bertie to babysit Deanly yet. Dean Lee isn't clingy at all today. I suppose her world is beginning to grow bigger. Enough of the live commentary with this particular passerby already. It's time for tea. Reddy's two sons are getting silly now. Dinky is no dopey. He always gave his brother, Bobby, grief. I hope Bertie will get to babysit Dean Lee soon. That's her only way to feel like being a mum of someone. A regular feeder has just parked his car by the side of the road. He will begin to hand out goodies when another regular feeder is here. And so everyone will wait patiently. Including Sally's girls. Who are all waiting a few dozen yards up along the road. It seems the two older daughters of Riggi are competing to be Spizzy's babysitter there. But they have yet to convince Spunky about it. Since Chrissy has been delegated as the babysitter for Kobe, these two, especially Rudy seems to be hanging around Sally's girls a lot more nowadays. Even Spotty is here to compete for a place.
but they don't just snatch. They know the rules. Is Spizzy getting spunkier? But she just doesn't yet have the motor skill to support her ambitions. So another regular feeder is here now, but they are still withholding. Spunky is tolerating Rudy's intrusion, but she isn't letting Rudy babysit for her yet. Just behind me. It seems Bree is making some headway with Georgie.
and she might even have Gabby's consent too. Rudy is still working her way. It is always harder to persuade a first-time mum to entrust her baby with a babysitter though. But Rudy is one of the best babysitters around, I think she will get there. Finally, Sally is out from hiding. It's Brody. The tamest adult male around. But Sally seems to be scared of anything and everything. This newest baby of Sally just doesn't look like anyone at all. Actually all her kids look very different from one and other. Sally seems to prefer to choose males from outside to mate with. And this time, she seems to have chosen one either a long-tailed or a mixed descendant of so. Sally has the most diverse gene pool in her kids. Is she not waiting for them? I see, she wants to connect to her daughter Spanky. I wonder whether Spiffy has met her baby aunt properly yet. And there's Gypsy, with her daughter Chrissy caring for Kobe, over there. Poor Sally, she and her family has been relegated to a place just a tad higher than Gypsy in the totem pole. But now it seems except those in the royal household and perhaps those from the second and the third in command, one's ranking in a troop could be quite dynamic.
Like here, Grandy and his kids have to stay back once Barry and Barney have appeared. But they did grab themselves a handful each. Likewise, Dorothy is waiting for the brothers to leave before she will go back again. Thankfully, they did get themselves some scraps. But they still have to wait for their turn at the main dinner table. Consider these as merely appetizers. It's boring waiting, mum can't hold Spiffy forever.
Spiffy is really head and shoulders above the others, except Georgie. And she clearly hasn't had enough yet. She just have to go to the monkey gym again. Spanky, you should know better, you can't cage a girl like Spiffy. She will just go back at it right again. She will only stop of her own accord. Meanwhile, Grandy has been taking some quality time with his kids.
Finally it's their turn. They have all been waiting patiently all this time. Bon appétit.